what I've done here is added a few little doodles and I used a pretty bold sharpie and what I'm doing is just adding you could even add dots to fill it in you could use colored sharpie uh, just creating a little design all my extra spots there with some dots I'm a firm believer in decoration decorating your picture kids do it all the time and we know that great artists have always admired the way children freely adorn and decorate their picture. So different colored math boards will influence the way you paint. Always having white underneath can be a little boring. Oh look, oh we got a happy accident going here. There's some color bleeding here from one of the uh, Sharpies. So I, I spray both sides. Put it down. I'm kind of, this is interesting. I've never had this happen with a Sharpie before. But I'm going with it. What a great little, I didn't do this on purpose. Uh, this is great. So now we have the big squirrel hair brush, our paper's fairly wet. It's a great way to paint, just a little atomizer. Now, the paper's not saturated, so that's okay. It's just lightly wet. Now, I'm going to take some of this blue, because the blue's happening here anyways, and watch how I will, the water just, it's right on top of the paper. It's not even soaking in yet. Now remember the board can be tilted, that's why I like it. There we go, we've outlined the outside and now what I'm going to do is just going to let it drip like this. And uh, now I clean off my brush and I take a little bit of the red and uh, I'm going to put the red in one corner to take the blue into the violet tone. Now, if I don't like these lines, I can certainly get rid of those by cutting them off later. Okay, there we have a nice little background. Now, if I want to get rid of this paint here, all I have to do is take my trusty brush. This is an Asian brush. Just give it a little bit of a wipe. Or I could take a napkin like that. There we go. And let's give the centers of all the flowers uh, a little cadmium yellow. That's the first step. Three flowers, three centers. Take off the paint. Then we take some cadmium red. And we go around this flower. So you'll have a beautiful orange. And now we're going to transition from the red orange we're just going to add some water, let that move out a bit into the petals. And take a little bit of the sap green, full strength, full strength. Brush is wet, the paper's wet, and some of these leaves that I've added underneath, not the petals, leaves are not petals. Sap green, very nice green. There's And I'm going to do the T 
tips to start with here. So I'm, I have two reds. I have the cadmium red and I have the alizarin or carmine red. And you can use any color you want. Oh, see the purples coming in here? Very good. Watercolors are funny, you know, you'll, you'll be doing them and thinking, oh, it's not working, it's not working. Give it a little time, be patient. Working like wet, like this, is your best bet in the beginning. Now, if I want to go a little darker on the edges, I can, but I'm going back. See, notice I clean my brush every time. Lots of cleaning of the brush. Always use clean colors. And now I'm going to add a different green. This is more of a phthalo green, and I'll put it near the, right where these are coming in close. So they're more like in the shadow. So the beginning of each one to create a bit of a shadow. And the water will, I'm gonna do half of this one and half of this one. Uh, this was the green I used for the lilacs. Okay, and that's going to mix on its own, on its own. And we might go with another little bit of the cadmium around the yellow center. Boy, some colors are, some flowers have strong colors. And our little star flowers here, all these little star flowers, let's give them a little yellow in the middle. I think I'm going to go with a little darker blue in the bottom part here. Don't be afraid to use full strength colors. Contrast makes a great picture. Dark against light. Dark against light. There, we're moving right along here. And there we go. Dark against light. You have to use a little bravery when you paint. Don't be too timid. I'm gonna let that dry now. And what would that look like in a little frame? I could get rid of all these nasty little lines on the outside. So what a difference, a little frame. And of course, the final touches sometimes in the frame like adding a little more here and there. I like these very, very light here. There we go. And you can uh, you can just keep developing something like that, but look at this, that's great in a little frame. Look at that. 